Hi, people make mistakes, that's for sure. And it's easy to make one. Sometimes it's okay, but it's not so much okay when it comes to engineering. These types of mistakes are unforgivable. Very often, these sorts of mistakes cost a lot of money. And what's even worse, human lives. Engineering is very strict, no less strict than surgery. So today we will talk about some gross mistakes made by engineers. Shanghai is the largest city in China. And one time, almost fully built 30-story building collapsed. It just fell straight down one day, and that was it. It just fell on the side like a huge piece of domino. Looking at this gives you a feeling that it was almost like cut down like a tree. According to the official version, the building fell because of underground garage and because it was built on loose soil. Perhaps they tried to build this complex in, in a short period of time. Over 24 million people live in Shanghai and the population is constantly growing. And so they f are forced to build very fast, which is why there are many mistakes made throughout the process all the time. In 2009, Spanish Ministry of Defense signed up a contract with Navantia. That would help them make S-80 submarines. At that point, they were not expecting to have any troubles or unpleasant surprises. But there were lots of trouble, and that trouble got solved only just recently. First, it turned out that it was too heavy, so it would go down pretty easily, but there was no much chance of it going back up again. Electric boat specialists helped to restore some of the boat's properties by adding compartments and making it 10 meters longer. But then they faced new problems. It couldn't fit inside a dock because it was too long now, almost 81 meters. Now if only it was 3 meters less long, it would all be alright. And so the ministry was forced to spend even more money, this time to rebuild the dock. And similar case happened in France in 2014. That time they had problems with trains, they ordered 2,000 new cars. They were made in time, but they were made too big. They simply couldn't fit between the platforms on most train stations. The Tacoma Narrow Suspension Bridge was opened in the United States in 1940s. It was the third longest span in the world at the time. Almost immediately after they opened it, it became evident that the bridge was built in a wrong way. Tacoma Narrow swayed up and down because of the wind, and the height differences were very significant. They reached several meters. The bridge swayed from side to side and looked like it was made of rubber. Surprisingly, they never closed it, and what's more, they allowed to use it. The drivers probably accepted this as a kind of exchange, and the most courageous of them drove there to test their nerves. However, there were no serious accidents, only a few months later when a massive hurricane hit the bridge. A huge part of the structure simply collapsed and fell into water. Gibraltar is a tiny British overseas territory. It is known for its unfortunate airport. A huge part of it was built using rock blaster from the rock of Gibraltar while carrying out works on military tunnels. Its runway goes hundreds of meters deep underwater. What's pretty bizarre is that it crosses one of the busiest highways of the capital. This wasn't somebody's joke or anything like that. It wasn't even a bad mistake. It was all because there was not enough mileage to build a proper one, because there was very little land, only 2.5 square meters of it. Plus, the ground was uneven, and because of all of that, they had to come up with this very wild and unusual solution. They were forced to install traffic lights for both cars and planes, and surely the priority belongs to planes at this point. Sometimes you have to wait for a long time driving a car in those parts letting the planes pass. And every time it's a very interesting sight to behold. It attracts attention of many tourists that hang around there all the time just to see how this happens with their own eyes. Exploration of space is a very difficult mission where success comes next to failure. It is pretty clear that the study of the new phenomenon is practically impossible without making mistakes. But sometimes these mistakes are unbelievable, and they leave you wondering about how they were made. A striking example of 
Miscalculation is the story of the American Automatic Station Mars Climate Orbiter. The device was supposed to operate on Mars, collecting data. It reached the goal, everything went pretty much according to plan, but when it tried to enter the orbit of the planet, it went beyond Mars, and it simply disappeared. The error analysis showed that the reason for this failure was the difference in the measurement systems. The NASA team in their calculation relied on the metric system, and the look-ahead Martin comparison engineers used Imperial. As a result, the device passed too close to the surface of the planet and collapsed in the atmosphere of Mars. One of the most known skyscrapers in New York is the Citicorp Center building in Manhattan. It stands on four massive columns so that it don't touch the Church of St. Peter, and it has a triangular roof. The structure looks very unusual. It seems that the 59-story building is floating in the air. However, this design makes the skyscraper more vulnerable to wind. To stabilize it, the architects provided dampers, but they made one crucial error, which almost led to disaster. The error was discovered by chance when a student approached the designer with a question about the structure of the building. She could not figure out some of the calculations and expressed her doubts about the stability of the skyscraper. The architect rejected her arguments, but decided to recalculate the parameters still. The result was quite shocking. It turned out that the adjustment made did not include the necessary welding, which is why the building was not protected against the wind. And the bad news back then were that the hurricane season was just about to begin. The repair works began immediately and were carried out secretly at night. The situation got very tense. Hurricane Ela was heading towards the city, but the workers did not have time to strengthen the building up. Fortunately, the hurricane never got to New York. But the story became public only 20 years later. The beautiful Walt Disney Concert Hall has become another Los Angeles landmark in 2005. The facade of the building was sheathed with steel panels. But in the same year, the builders had to change the facade of the building, as the metal became a powerful reflector of the solar heat. The sun turned the building into a deadly beam. People who happened to live in the nearby houses suffered from incredible heat. And this is not the only case. For example, there's a glass skyscraper in London. All reflected rays are concentrated in one single place. This image demonstrates the problem quite vividly. Venice is a beautiful city made of canals, bridges and gondolas. Even if you've never been there, you can imagine that there are lots of bridges there. However, there is one very special bridge. In a way that it's a major engineering failure, of course. Once this bridge was seen as one of the most beautiful and modern. The bridge was built in 2008. The main materials consisted of concrete, steel and glass. The bridge was supposed to connect the railway station and the bus station. Unfortunately, it just so happened that one third of the bridge is made out of steps. Walking through them with a suitcase on wheels is one hell of an adventure. What's worse, the steps prove to be very uncomfortable and even dangerous. When it's raining, snowing, or when it's just foggy, the bridge becomes incredibly slippery. The general slope of the structure does not add any safety to it. These days, hardly anyone gets surprised or excited looking at a tall skyscraper. But you can definitely surprise people with a skyscraper that can impact the weather. The fact that buildings and skyscrapers can amplify winds has been known for a long time. But this fact was not taken into account by the creators of the Bridgewater Place, built in Leeds in 2006 in the UK. Immediately after opening, the ill-fated skyscraper was called the Windmaker. They also started calling it the Dalek in honor of the mutant race from the Doctor Who TV series. In 2008, the skyscraper was given the prize for being the ugliest building in Europe. Unfortunately, its appearance is not even half the trouble. They call Bridgewater Palace Windmaker for a reason. The fact that after it was built, the winds around the building increased so much that they literally started blowing people away. Several people were even injured because of this. 
And after the wind overturned several cars in the parking lot at Bridgewater Place, the traffic nearby was completely limited. The city of Santos in Brazil, near Sao Paulo, is known for its falling houses sanctuary. The thing about the area is that almost all residential buildings in the city center, as well as on the coast, are built in the wrong way. In some places, the wall reaches 3 meters. It happened because of a whole series of engineering mistakes. Those houses were built without taking into account the specifics of the local sandy clay soil. And although it looks terrifying, it's pretty cheap real estate. And so lastly, I would like to tell you about a whole district in Paris. It's a project of Emile Ayoyo, who dubbed that thing the city of the future. Well, turned out to be the forgotten city of the future, or the city of forgotten future. You name it. It was built a while back in 1977. Those houses look too unusual, which is why nobody wants to buy them. Mostly old people live there these days. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you liked it. Like and subscribe if you did, and we'll catch you next time.